Hi guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. If you cannot tell, I literally just woke up and I was just informed that the cleaners are coming to clean upstairs and I didn't know that. So even though my closet is clean because we did that yesterday, if you guys didn't see um, my last video, I did a major closet declutter and clean out. It was really satisfying. So if you're interested in that, then go watch it. But I didn't do my room or my bathroom that was on my list either in this video or tomorrow's video so I guess we're gonna start in my room and clean up because I have a bunch of crap everywhere and they're not gonna be able to clean because it's there's stuff everywhere I just quickly cleaned up and put everything away for now. I still have yet to declutter my room. I haven't done that yet. They're about to come up, so I just kind of rearranged all of this, put the gifts somewhere else. Um, so yeah, that's done for right now. We'll probably do that either later this vlog or maybe um, tomorrow. Please excuse my appearance. I was really hoping that Anna was gonna come over today. It's totally okay. She's not coming over anymore. She wasn't feeling very well, so hopefully she gets better soon and we've rescheduled for tomorrow so you guys will see all that content tomorrow so I guess today is just a day at home I do want to fix up my room we'll do that later but for right now I need to eat I haven't eaten all day so I'm going to be eating my cereal if you guys know you know if you've been following me for a while then you know that this is literally my favorite thing in the entire world I think it was in my Portugal vlog I actually showed you guys like how I make it so if you're interested to know more details on this then go watch that video but for right now I'm just gonna make myself some oatmeal cereal I guess is what it is I'm actually not gonna make that much because we have a lot of sweets and I really want to have ice cream cake usually on a day like this where we don't have food I mean there's food but I don't feel like making it <laughs> I'll probably just have like ice cream for lunch which is so bad so I'm gonna have some food I hate this microwave it drives me crazy that microwave is amazing but it drives me absolutely insane because it like sings like you hear that like just to turn it on it's like like for what reason it takes like twice as long to do stuff because it's like you have to wait for it to sing and then it can warm up your food and then another thing too is once your food is done it'll ring but it won't stop ringing until you open the microwave so let's say like you know when you microwave something let's say you go upstairs to like grab something it won't stop ringing until somebody physically opens it and I'm like, oh my god, okay, we get it. It's probably like a safety thing, which again, I totally understand. Like you shouldn't be walking away from something when you're like cooking or microwaving or whatever. But still, like, oh my god, I get it. So I'm just gonna have some of the cereal. I'm really excited. We're probably gonna have some cake after. I still have some of my Oreo cheesecake cookies left over, so I'll have one of those. And I'm watching the Just Trish podcast. Trisha Paytas is my favorite YouTuber. She's actually one of the first people that I started watching when I discovered YouTube. And I've been watching her ever since. So probably since I was, I wanna say like maybe 11 or 12 years old. And I've always loved her. She's always been my favorite. I just thought she was so entertaining. I still think she is so yeah I know she's controversial but whatever that's a whole other topic for a different day After lunch, my dad was actually able to put up my cork board, which I've been waiting for, and it turned out so good, and I was so happy that he was able to do that. As you guys just saw, my dad just hung up my cork board, and I'm so happy. It's been leaning on my desk for the longest time because I wanted to hang it up, and it turned out really great. I just have a ton of memories from trips that I've traveled to and really cute letters and notes that were written to me. Polar 
Polaroids and some other random items. So my room is slowly coming together. I do plan on doing a gallery wall with this wall as well in the near future. So hopefully that'll happen. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I think it looks really cute. I'm very, very happy. I just finished taking a shower and before we test out the Dyson for the very first time, I actually want to let my hair air dry for a little bit. I was watching a ton of videos last night on how to test out the Dyson, how to use it and all the features and stuff. And a lot of people had mentioned that it's probably best to use it on like 80 percent dry hair if that makes sense and this is pretty wet so good for me I'm gonna let it air dry um, but anyways we are gonna do some organizing some decorating of my room I think I mentioned earlier but if you watched yesterday's vlog then I did an entire closet clean out I decluttered organized and it was so much fun it took literally like three to four hours and I was really proud of myself afterwards so if you're interested in seeing that video then definitely go check it out i did some changes that i wanted to quickly show all of you you pretty much got like a free closet tour in yesterday's video and a little bit in today's video but let me just show you some of the changes that i made when you walk into my closet this is what you see i do have two mini closets inside of my closet and i just did minor changes i just basically organized all of the stuffed animals i think they look a lot better like this and put all of my sandals to the side and then on top I put all of my hangers I just thought it was a lot better like this because I could just easily grab a hanger if I needed to everything else remained exactly the same so you guys can kind of see and then if you turn back around over here all of this stayed the same except for my pillows I did add a second pillow I thought it looked a little bit weird with just one so I added another one and now I think it looks so much better better I love the almost red and pink together and then over here I have another little mini closet which I also fixed up I didn't really do much yesterday but I officially finished I just cleared out everything that was on this dresser cleared out the drawers back there I have all of like my tripod stuff and then I used to have something on the floor that I got rid of and I moved my clothing rack in here and then that way whenever I need it I can easily grab it this gold thing is something that needs to be hung up there but for now it looks empty and and very clean which I'm happy about now in my bedroom I have a huge basket of clothes of things that I need to put away in my room all of this is loungewear so basically my closet has everything I need to get ready but the dressers in my room has all of my PJs and loungewear items so I'm gonna put everything away before I even start going through the drawers cleaning and decluttering before I could start my room clean out and decluttering process I I needed to fold and put away all of this laundry that I have been procrastinating on. So I literally took everything out, started putting all of my socks away and started putting everything in my dressers and my drawers. And then I started with my nightstand. I basically organized all of my socks and here's how it turned out. I also decorated my nightstand. I have all my fuzzy socks on the bottom and regular socks on top. And it turned out really neat and organized. Then I moved on to this decor furniture piece that I have that I literally use to decorate. I didn't know what to do with it for the longest time. This was what it looked like before, as you can see, plain and empty. And here's what it looked like afterwards. I think it's so cute and fun, and I'm really happy that I finally got to decorate this piece. Then I moved on to my main piece of furniture in my room, which is actually my only dresser since, like I said prior, my closet is where I keep most of my clothing. This is where I keep all of my PJs and loungewear items. I surprisingly don't have that many. This was kind of a long process because I went through everything, took out some things that I no longer wear or that don't fit me anymore, folded everything, and basically found a new purpose, color coordinated it all, and it turned out amazing at the end. I I liked all my shirts organized in a certain way and then finally I got to the PJ portion so I tried to organize it between like silk ones matching sets I didn't record a uh, before but trust me it was a mess here's what it looked like afterwards I was really proud of myself because everything was really nicely folded and organized finally I moved on to my second nightstand where I also keep some socks but these were organized between blacks and whites and then I also decorated 
my nightstand on top. Last but not least, I moved on to my desk. I gave it a redecoration. I wanted to display all of my journals, which I did. And then I had to clear out all of my drawers. These I've also been procrastinating on. As you can see, they were very messy. I had random journals, receipts, pens, and I threw a lot of stuff out and then basically only put the things that I needed that I could see and they turned out really good. This was also kind of a long process because this was also like my junk drawer in a sense. And I also individually tested all of my pens as you saw and this is what it looked like afterwards. I love the way that it was decorated and everything was so nice and organized where I could find it. Okay you guys, my room is officially finished. I just decluttered everything as you saw. I cleaned and I organized. I'm really happy with the way that my room came out because my room is something that I've been wanting to work on and I finally feel like it's at a point where I like the way that it's styled. Of course, I'm not done. I still have to do my gallery wall, still have to add curtains and blinds. There are also a few shelves that I want to put, but for now, the majority of it is finished and it feels so cozy and cute, so I'm really happy about that. Just to give you a quick overview, finally my nightstands look cute. For the longest time, they didn't. And now I like the mismatch, but the simplicity and also this corner piece, I finally styled. I added this in here recently, it just looks super cute. And my desk, I am the most excited for. I love the way that it's styled. I just love all the hints of pink, all the notebook that's making me want to journal. It is finally time to use my Dyson Airwrap that I got for Christmas. My parents got me this and you guys have no idea how excited I am. If you have been a subscriber on my channel, then you know that I absolutely suck at doing hair. I can put on a full face of makeup, I can put together a really fashionable outfit, but when it comes to hair, I'm clueless. I guess I was just never really taught and I mean, I know how to do my hair like straighten it and stuff like that but I'm not the best at hairstyles I hate wearing my hair up I'm just very limited I never know what to do with it and I just always straighten it my hair is naturally like wavy slash curly but I feel like because I've straightened it so many times over the years I've kind of damaged it a little bit but I'm watching a tutorial on YouTube I also watched a bunch last night so I wanted to give a quick before this is what my hair looks like before the Dyson and then hopefully we can do a nice transition afterwards. So I'm gonna start by using the Hair Proud Leave-In Scalp and Hair Moisturizer. So I'm just gonna give my hair a few sprays of this. I've used it before and I like it. It also smells pretty nice. My hair for the most part, I would say, is like 85% dry, but I'm gonna dry it with the Dyson. There are a ton of detachments. I just plugged in the Dyson. This is the detachment. Again, I've never used this before. I basically figured it out. So there is a lock mechanism on here. Once I figure out how to use it and I test it a few times, then I'll give you guys a tutorial. But right now I'm just gonna be blow drying. I just locked it in place. This is to turn it on. And then I guess this is the temperature and then the fan. So I'm just gonna turn it on and we're gonna blow dry. <laughs> pretty much dried. I really loved this feature. I felt like it dried my hair pretty fast. Now granted, I know it was kind of dry, but I really enjoyed that. So I'm gonna detach this and it's supposed to defrizz. Basically what the girl did in the video is she brushed the hair and then I guess it dries it at the same time. So let me just see. Oh yeah, it does. It's very light though. brushed my hair and blow dried it at the same time while giving it a bit of a wave. Like, can you see the ends? And then it also defrizzed a lot of it. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like so excited. Like, oh my God, am I going to have better hair next year? Period. I'm going to do the same thing to this and we'll see because it's looking a little frizzy. So I guess we'll see what it looks like after I've Dysoned it. 
Oh my gosh, I am so thoroughly impressed. Oh my God, I get it now, girls, I get it. Okay, so the next thing that this girl did was she actually detached this piece and she inserted this one. And this is obviously the round brush and this is what she used to do this half of her hair and then the top portion. Alrighty, so right away, I am loving the way that my hair is looking because if you guys know me, then you know that I usually blow dry my hair with like a standard blow dryer and it's always so, so frizzy. And that's when I go in with the hair straightener to literally achieve sort of this look, but just straight. And so the fact that this blow dried my hair and basically straightened it while giving me some flips all at the same time was amazing. So I like my hair just like this. This is how I usually keep it, but we're gonna test out some curls today because why not? So I'm actually gonna take this out and replace it with the larger barrel of the two. I believe this is the bigger one, yes, because this is what the girl in the video said to do. So I'm gonna watch it and then we're gonna do some curls, maybe. What I started doing was I tighten up the tool with your hair. It will form a better curl in the curl. I did it you guys so what I did was I didn't know that there was a flip for the left and right side so I did the right now I'm gonna redo the left so just to show you very briefly what I did is I have it on high heat and I'm gonna let the Dyson catch it and then I'm gonna roll it up as it's collecting the hair and I'm gonna let this sit for like 40 30 seconds on high heat oh my god okay so for a first time doing the Dyson not bad so I'm just gonna give it some hairspray in my hair. Okay, you guys, here is the after. Oh my God. Okay, now hear me out. I am not an expert on using the Dyson. This was literally my first time. I was like watching tutorial videos as I was doing it. I was testing out all of the products. So again, it'll probably take me a minute to figure out what works best for me and my hair. But considering that I do not know how to do hair, this is huge for me. My hair has never looked this like voluminous in a long time and it's probably not even that volumizing as you can see i did different things to different sides was testing stuff out but i think it looks really freaking great and she really liked it as well so i'm very very happy i think it looks awesome tomorrow i'll probably redo some of them but yeah it looks really great and i'm so happy